Good afternoon. We're delighted to welcome you here to Trinity Church. I'm Michael Bird. I'm the vicar here at the church. Um, and we are so excited at this extension of our mission to this great city of ours. Um, as you all know, music is the glue that binds us all together. Music is that thing which allows us to express the deeper truths and the deeper sense of our, well, the common good and our common unity as human beings. It is that beautiful thing that we give expression to that brings us together on this day. And so I am delighted to go through this series of introductions to set the stage for our artists today. First of all, um, if you have missed any of our jazz concerts, and there have been quite a few, including our concerts at one, which I will speak about in a minute, they are all online at Trinity Church's website and also on our YouTube channel. Um, also, please know that this and our many other public concerts are just part of our very special collaboration with Jazz House Kids. Jazz House Kids, originally founded in Montclair, New Jersey, has now found a home here in, Mon in Manhattan over at Trinity Commons, which is our building just across the street. Am I sinking out of range there? Who knows? And um, there are over 100 young people registered just from this fall getting free music education. They get individual lessons, group lessons, they play in ensembles, they get time together as part of our overall um, after school experience. So we've had 100 plus kids enrolled in jazz programming. We have 750 teenagers in our after school program. And that's all part of taking care of the next generation and particularly making sure that our artists have the ability to express themselves and do that thing which is uniquely theirs, right? Give voice to their voice. Before I continue with our introductions and some of the things that I'm supposed to say to you, this important announcement. Um, we are truly blessed to have Tom Harrell here today. Um, and we wanna make sure that we are creating the most welcoming environment that we can possibly create for him to share his gift with us. And for that reason, please, no photos, no video during the performance. Our artist finds that very distracting. I promise you that we will provide for free on our website and on YouTube a brilliant video and audio of this concert. So please do, please do uh, your very best to make welcome our artist today. A couple of other things. Skip ahead to the concert part. Do you believe how much they give me? This is how much jazz stuff is going on here. I've got pages and pages and pages. In addition to this concert, we are offering Jazz at One, that's Mondays for six weeks running, and our Jazz at One artist this coming Monday, so that's tomorrow at 1 p.m., in St. Paul's Chapel, which is just five blocks north from here, is the terrific bassist Linda May Han O oh and her trio. So we are delighted to welcome them. And then looking ahead, we've got brilliant artists Kaylin Cardello, we have Shabnam Abadi and Joe Block, Esteban Castro, and uh, Jonathan Blakes, all coming up in our concerts at one on Mondays in the next few weeks. And then just to talk about this Jazz Icon series. Trinity, of course, could not make this happen on our own. It is our partnership with Jazz House Kids, and particularly our partnership with Melissa Walker, the founder of Jazz House Kids, and her eight-time Grammy Award-winning bassist husband, Christian McBride, who curate this series that allow us to make this offering to our great city and to all of you. You may have been here before uh, last year when we welcomed Monty Alexander and Kenny Barron and Christian McBride, and looking ahead December 10th, which will be our next Jazz Icons concert in this semester, we will welcome the NEA Jazz Master Ron Carter, leading a band of legends including Russell Malone and Donald Vega. So we are working really hard to put together some great things that give expression to this uniquely American art form that matters so deeply to us, that speaks such a deep truth about who we are. And now let's talk about what we're gonna to get to enjoy in just a moment. Because you came here 
today to bear witness to the legend himself, Mr. Tom Harrell. Voted Trumpeter of the Year by the Jazz Journalists Association, Tom Harrell is one of the most creative and dynamic jazz instrumentalists and composers of our time. While Harrell is a master of the jazz idiom, he constantly seeks new challenges and new influences. He has written scores and arrangements for symphony, chamber orchestras, and big bands, and recorded a tribute album to Debussy and Ravel, a piano-less quartet album featuring a suite that represents the adventures of Don Quixote. Now, that was a fun fact I did not know. Even with a disc discography of over 280 recordings and a career that spans more than five decades, Harrell has managed to stay fresh and current as he continues to actively record and tour around the world. A graduate of Stanford University with a degree in music composition, he is a frequent winner in Downbeat and Jazz Time Magazine's critics and readers polls and a multiple Grammy nominee and winner. His latest album, Oak Tree, was recorded with the quartet that we'll hear this afternoon. Please join me in giving a warm welcome to Tom Harrell, pianist Luis Perdomo, drummer Adam Cruz, and bassist Ugana Okegwo for this concert this afternoon.
Thank <laughs> you.
Adam Cruz on drums. We're going to have Kegel on bass. Luis Perdomo on piano. Thank you. Thank you all for being here. We're so grateful for this time with you. It is a great privilege for Trinity Church to partner with Jazz House in helping make these concerts happen. And we are so grateful to Tom Harrell and his quartet for this incredible concert we had. How about another round of applause for Tom Harrell? And we look forward to seeing you on December 10th for Ron Carter. Take care, everyone.